this video, we're going to demonstrate the new security protocols that are in Zoom. These have changed since last week, so there's a few things we want you to be aware of. First, it's pretty important to log out of Zoom. So if you're in Zoom, to log out, just click on your profile picture in the upper right and click Sign Out. And then please do the same thing with the program that is installed on your computer. Looks like this. So if I, if I launch it, look in the upper right and click Sign Out. The reason this is important, we want to make sure that the latest settings are applied when you log in. So I'm going to click Sign In. So now that I'm signed into my Canvas account, what I want to do is click Schedule a New Meeting. So I'm setting up a new meeting for this week. So here we go. Here's my afternoon story time. And I can set a date and a time and a duration just like before. You could set up a reoccurring meeting if you wished. Do not click Required. At this time, students do not have accounts, and this is going to force them to create an account. And we don't want that as at this time. Still have the Generate Meeting ID automatically. Set the password. Scroll down. For now, these are default set off. So that is what we recommend staying off. So when you join the meeting, your video will not be on until you engage or you click start video. Participants, the students who join, their video will not be turned on until they turn it on or you prompt them to turn it on. Leaving this to both. If I scroll down, here's something that is now enabled and locked. So there always will be a waiting room. This also might be a good thing to click is mute the participants when they enter. So their microphone and video will be off until either they turn them on or you prompt them. And then click record automatically on the computer and save. One other change is before we were saying you needed the meeting ID and the password to be sent to the participant to join the meeting. What we found today was that the password is included in the link. So if you send this link to the students through email, put it into Canvas, Google Classroom, Seesaw, wherever you share it out, this link will be good because there is a password that is now included inside of the link. If someone is joining from the outside, that's where the meeting ID and the password would be required. If you already have meetings set up, you could alter your meeting or adjust it by clicking the meeting, scrolling to the bottom, click edit this meeting, say all the meetings that I've created I want to apply the new settings to, and I want to scroll through and make sure that my password is set up, that um, maybe my new participants before entry is set up. So this is the way you can go in there and alter the meeting and then click save. It does not, the only time it will change the URL, the address, is if you've added a password and then you'll have to reshare that out.